I have brought all the solvents that I am going to use in this elution process today. You should get three Erlenmeyer flasks, one 125 ml Erlenmeyer flask labeled hexane and get about 80 milliliters of hexane in it. Then get two more 50 ml Erlenmeyer flasks. One is for 10 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate, get about 25 milliliters of 10 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate and in the last one get about 25 milliliters of 1 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate. You must get your solvents before you start pouring your sample onto the column. So get these solvents and also notice that I have kept them covered. If I do not keep them covered, one of the solvents in the mixture which is lower boiling than the other may evaporate off and your composition may not remain the same. So that is the reason why we should have all of these covered. We should also have three beakers ready for collecting different fractions. These beakers can be of any size as long as they are minimum 100 ml uh, in volume. So label them as 1, 2 and 3. As I said, these will be for collecting different fractions. And you also may notice that I have a beaker labeled waste here for collecting waste eluted solvent. So let us set up this column so that the tip of the column is almost inside the beaker so that if anything comes out it does not splash out of this beaker. Now that you have the three beakers, the three solvents, a waste beaker and the column with glass wool and sand everything set up, we are ready to prepare our solid adsorbent in the column. So first thing you want to do is add hexane into this column. You want to fill the column about two thirds. You do not really have to measure exactly two thirds. So as I said up to about here is fine. Use a plastic funnel. Make sure that the stopcock is closed. If not what happens? The solvent will just run down into the waste beaker. As long as the waste beaker is clean, we can pour that solvent back. Oh, but let us just do it the right way. And once we have filled the column up to about two thirds with hexane, we are ready to add alumina. Keep this hexane because you will need it for eluting purposes. This is alumina basic activity 1. Activity 1 refers to how dry this compound is or how much of an attraction this has towards moisture. This one is very dry and it will absorb moisture very quickly. That is also the reason why we should always keep the jar covered. And notice that we did not measure out the amount of alumina that we need to add to the column yet. You should not measure it out till you have this setup done. Because if you measure alumina out and keep it, it will absorb the moisture from atmosphere and then the separation of the mixture may not be that great. Now that we have everything set up, let us measure alumina. 